Hello everybody, in this video we will show you this steel silhouette that we got for parts to use on our own project. It's a Reinke M10. We don't know the building year, but it will be probably between 1980 and 1990. The previous owner had it for over 10 years. In the recent years it was not used due to the passing of one of the owners. The Reinke series are made both in aluminium and steel, in multiple lengths and keel options. What we got here is the 10 meter variant with twin keels. These Reinke sailboats are mostly built in the twin keel variant, as this is ideal for drying out. This Reinke may have the twin keels, but drying out is not possible anymore. This is because the underwater structure is compromised by rust. First thing we needed to do is get the ship transported to our yard. Then when the ship had arrived we moved the mast in a traditional way. Yes, just on the small cart with only two wheels. You're probably asking yourself. Why didn't we just put the mast on top of the boat or just on the trailer when the boat was being moved to our yard? Well, we just didn't think that was an option back then. And we just left with the sailboat on the trailer. When everything was ready and had arrived at our yard, we started cleaning out the first things. Then we removed the reflex and stored it away safely. This boat has the following things we need for our own project and also some things we can use on our current sailboat. She is equipped with a Mitsubishi S4 L2 engine with around 80 hours. Never used fresh and black water tanks, also two diesel tanks. A wall mounted reflex heater which we will mount in our current sailboat for our upcoming travels in 2023 to Norway. Mooring lines and equipment, an aft mounted anchor line roller and a lot more small things for mounting other equipment.
While cleaning, we really wanted to start removing the engine to see in what kind of state it was. So we did exactly that. When doing work like this, always check to see if you do everything right, by means of reading the manual or watching some tutorials. Of course, after saying that, we forgot one crucial thing. Yes, we forgot to pump out the oil of the sail drive. And yes, you can write down in the comments that I'm an idiot for not doing just that. After cleaning up all the oil, we started to remove the gearbox housing to make it easier to get out of the boat. This is a quick time lapse of the process. As you can see, it was getting really dark outside. That's because the days keep getting shorter and shorter. Certainly not good for the video.
Now the engine is hanging free, we need to get it out. As we thought the boat would be demolished after this, the most simple way to remove the engine is to make a hole in the bottom to lower the engine out of the boat. But somebody else has bought the boat from us, so we need to be careful and pull it out from above. Of course now the engine is out, we want to try and start it. This was easier than we thought and we got it running in just one hour. While it was running we noticed that the engine was not getting any water, so we inspected the impeller and as we thought it was broken. After a quick swap with a new one we were ready to start again.
The engine runs very well and we are very happy with it. As we don't need the engine in the upcoming weeks, we will put it in this wooden box ready for storage. Thanks for watching. 